from Bitman. It uses ASIC chips, mining with the SHA-256 algorithm, so this can only mine Bitcoin. It outputs 476 giga hashes of calculations, but it also draws 366 watts of power. So if you ran this now in today's market, 2023, it will make $14 a year in Bitcoin, but it'll also cost $365 in electric to run it. So the Ant Miner S3 came out about 10 years ago, back in 2014, and it was pretty nice when it did. Uh, I bought these a little while after, and they made a little bit of profit for me. Nowadays, you're not going to get much profit out of them. They would make for a nice vintage piece of uh, equipment. You can use websites like Coin Wars to help you calculate the profitability of a miner before you buy it. As you can see here, the S3 is currently only mining at 3 cents a day, and that's with free electricity. This is not very profitable and not worth the time. For example, the best miner out there is the Ant Miner S19 Pro. The S19 Pro is also getting old, with it only pulling about $2.67 profit at today's estimates, and that's per day. I am currently not mining because all of my miners are old too. Even if I had an S19, I still would not mine. My electric company has started charging me more for their base rates. So even if I don't use any power, I still get charged $50 a month for BS like service fees or delivery fees. My best bet is to wait and buy the next miner that comes out as soon as it comes out if I expect to make any kind of profits from this. Here's the end miner hooked up. We have a nice server power supply that can give like, I think it's four or 600 watts. Nice little adapter board and some bunch of plugs, <laughs> some of which I had to modify. Make sure positive is positive and negative is negative. You'll, you'll have a bad day, trust me. Let's fire this up. Nice little power on switch. Now these always take a while to boot up. It's not something you turn on for an hour or two to make coin. Like these want to stay on for hours. Well, that's really about it for this one. It doesn't really run like crazy like the uh, newer ones do. It doesn't really put off a lot of heat. And again, it's only like three to 400 watts of power. You can usually run this in your house without too much of a headache. Let's see if this 10 year old miner still works. Yay, okay, so after about five or ten minutes we see we have two workers now uh ignore the uh terra hashes i have another miner running if we go over to our workers here let's take a look oh no workers <laughs> never mind okay we got it now uh, i had to switch it from uh uh active to uh okay or well, that was on disabled and switch it to okay so Here's our workers. Uh, Don is the uh, S3. And you can see we're getting 260.3 gigahertz. Now this will go up over time because I just turned it on. So it takes a while to start going. I think it's been like maybe 10 minutes. But after like an hour, you'll, you'll see this up at like the uh, 340 rate or 460 rate. And it will vary because if you go back to here, to our dashboard, you can see I'm getting like 13.6 uh, tera hashes, and it varies depending on how the performance is. But yeah, that's the uh, Ant Miner S3 pulling a whole 258 <laughs> gigahertz. Meanwhile, my other uh, my TFT worker, that one is pulling 13.2 tera hashes. So you can see they've uh, 
gone up over the years and this one itself is about two or three years old so I need to replace it with a better one because it's barely making a profit but anyway uh hope you liked the video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions please post them below um, and remember uh, if you want to get into Bitcoin mining you want to get the newest and best equipment uh, you're not gonna make any money with anything that's old unless you have free power but even then if you ran this one with free power, you're only making $14 a year. Oh. Until next time.